Equity markets fell by 12 to 15 percent, depending on the index uh, you look at in Europe and in the US. Uh, January was the ninth worst start of the year since 1900. The reasons behind this sharp correction are mainly the unexpected and absolutely astonishing correction in raw material prices, especially in oil. Then, these deflationary pressures coming from raw material prices put a huge pressure on an emerging countries, especially in China, with some threat regarding a potential recession in the next to come uh, in China. What can we expect uh, from now? It depends on the investment horizon we consider. From a technical point of view, we expect a rebound because central banks now have to act in order to continue to support as much as possible economic growth on one hand and financial markets on the other hand. The last decisions uh, by the BOG was a surprise by cutting interest rates in negative territory at minus 0.1%. And the next step is potentially the ECB with an extension in the QE program with a new cut in interest rates going further and deeper in negative territory at minus 0.4%. From a strategic point of view, after a very astonishing 20% performance on average a year since to March 2009, we expect a regime shift, with only 6% expected returns in equity markets, both in Europe and the US, because of the expected uh, sluggish economic growth on one hand, and on the other hand, variation ratios now are very stretched. We are 10 to 15% above the historical average, which of course create a cap on uh, a pursuit of a valuation expansion ratios uh, in equity markets.